again. I'm really excited to be here. And so today we're going to do a mix of uh, Pilates and bar. So Pilates focuses on the powerhouse. The powerhouse is your body from shoulders to the hips. And it focuses on your um, powerhouse all 360 degrees. So usually you probably see Pilates done at the gym on a mat or on a machine. But we're going to take some of those exercises and um, incorporate them with a chair, which is in the back. And then the other thing that we're going to do is incorporated some exercises that are done in a class called BAR. BAR is spelled B-A-R-R-E. And um, it stems from Pilates as well as ballet. So it's a low impact exercise that is very safe for your joints and gets your heart rate up a little bit. Um, the thing I like about Pilates and bar is that it focuses on functional fitness, which means um, it's exercises that help work you in everyday life. So instead of hit, lifting very heavy weights, we are working on the muscle groups that help us walk up and down the stairs or bend over and pick something up. So it's functional for life versus just going to the gym and getting really big muscles. So um, we're gonna go onto our chair. And if you have um, some light weights, grab them. And we're gonna start with some upper body exercises today. So go ahead and find some light weights. And so if you're doing this at home and you don't have light weights, you can use soup cans or water bottles, um, even, um, I don't know, like a, a, a juice bottle, anything like that. So I'll give you a second to go grab your chair and your weights, okay? So I'm also going to change this so I can see myself better. So I can see the screen. Hold on. Uh, let's see. Maybe. There we go. Okay. So we're going to come over here onto our chair. We're gonna sit nice and tall. So hopefully your chair has a nice back like mine, okay? And you're going to pretend that the back is right up against you, all right? So you'll sit nice and tall and feel your um, glute muscles, the cheekiest part of your bottom, and I want you to sit right on top of them. And from here, you're gonna pull your belly button in and up, close the front ribs, and roll your shoulders back. Okay, so this is our nice and tight powerhouse. I'll show you like this too. So you're nice and tall. So none of this and none of this, right? So we're nice and tall like a wall is up against us, okay? So you're nice and tall right on top of your bottom and you're gonna grab your weights with palms facing up. And the first muscle group we're gonna work on are our biceps. Our biceps are right here, okay? So palms are up. We're gonna start by a nice lift. We lift up to our shoulder and we lower all the way down. We're gonna do 10 of these. We lift up to our shoulders on an inhale, and on an exhale, we're gonna come all the way down. Inhale up, and exhale down. Now let's watch how far we're lifting our weights. So you guys keep going and I'm gonna talk, okay? So make sure you're not lifting too high. You wanna lift right up to the shoulder, and that's gonna protect your shoulders. We go all the way up and down. We're gonna do four more just like this. And if you don't have weights at home, you can totally do these without weights. Lift and lower, okay? We have three more. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. As long as you're thinking about tightening your belt, you'll have the most maximum part of the exercise. Two more. And one more, you're gonna hold it right there. Plug your shoulders in, and I want you to dig your heels, your heels into the floor and sit a little taller. Close your eyes and plug the shoulders down your back. Once you plug the shoulders down the back, you're gonna feel your arms light up a little, right? Maybe you feel a little weight. We're gonna go up an inch and down an inch. Keep it going like this. We're gonna do this 10 times, up and down, nice and small, up and down. We're gonna do six more, up and down. So even though you only have one pound weights, maybe your arms are starting to feel a little tired. Mine are. Even without weights, they should feel tired, especially if you put your shoulders down your back. Let's do three more. 
Keep pressing the heels into the floor, sitting super tall. Think about north and south getting long. Hold it here. We're gonna bend the elbows now. We bend the elbows and we extend. We bend the elbows and we extend. You keep going. You have about eight more like this, right? So you're working the bicep. Keep it going. Bend and extend. Make sure the shoulders are down the back. Think about drawing the shoulders towards your pockets. Good job, guys. You have five. You have four. Keep it going, okay? We have three, two. Think about moving through honey or moving through mud. Hold it here. Roll the shoulders back. Last part, we go up an inch and down an inch. Up and down. You guys keep it going. You have about eight more. Eight more, just like that. Eight and seven. Close your eyes. Make sure your shoulders draw down the back. Even without weights, you should start to feel your arms get tired. Mine are. Keep it going. You have four. Nice job. You have three. Look at me for a second. Make sure you're not going like this with the shoulders. Just the bicep. Yeah, just the bicep. Two. One. And rest. Good job, shake it out. We're gonna repeat that whole series. So the important thing here is mind and body connection. So the muscle you're working is your bicep, right? So our bicep helps us do a couple things. It helps us supinate the arms. So it helps us do this with our palms. And it also helps with flexing at the elbow, okay? So think about that when we repeat the series. So let's do it again. And make sure this time your heel your heel presses down into the floor. When the heel presses down into the floor, your powerhouse will light up. So let's, we're gonna repeat the whole series. Here we go, guys. So first, sit tall, press your heels into the mat or the floor and feel your pelvic floor, your belly button rise up. Close the front ribs and here we go. It's a lift, it's a lower. Plug the shoulders down the back. You're moving through thick air. You got it, keep it going. You lift, you lower. Keep it going. I'm gonna try it without weight. See if I can feel it. Yep, I totally feel it. You should too. We're working this muscle. We have four, good, and three. So guys, if you don't work with intention, it's just gonna look like this, right? We're not gonna do this. We're gonna just press up, bring it down. Two more, press up, bring it down. After this one, you're gonna hold it right here. Plug the shoulders in, up an inch, down an inch, up. And down. So the movement comes from your bicep, not your hand. It comes from the bicep, not your shoulder. You got it, guys. You have four more like this. Four, three, very nice. Two, sit taller. Keep pressing the heels into the mat. You're going to hold it here. We bend the elbows. We bend and extend. Now, the higher the elbow, the harder. The lower the elbow, the easier. You choose. Move through mud. You have five. Good. You have four. Close your eyes. Feel the bicep work. Three. Yes. Two. If you flop, it's not gonna, it's not gonna do anything. So move through mud. One more. You're gonna hold 90 degrees. Roll the shoulders back. Press your heels down. Get a little taller. We go up an inch and down an inch. We have eight more like this. Close your eyes. Feel the bicep move and not the shoulder. It's the bicep. Can you? Flex all 10 toes like this, flex it. Yeah, you got it, flex your feet. Let's do four more, we have four, three. Everyone looks great, two more. Bring your elbows a little closer together, guys. One more, hold it here, we're gonna move into chest and shoulders. Go like this, up together, up together, up together, up together. Yep, try to touch your fingers, your knuckles together, your, um, the sides of your hands, up together. Get a little higher, up and up. We have 10, nine, lower your shoulders, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, get a little higher, two, one, and rest. Good job. Okay, so just a little feedback. Did you feel your arms turn on? If you didn't, it's you need a little more connection to the bicep, okay? So you can do that with any movement. You can just swing or you can move with intention, okay? Yeah, so let's do a couple rolls of the neck. Yep, make it feel good. Roll the neck one way, get all the cracks out. Roll the other way, 
and we're gonna move into our chest and shoulders. Okay, so a little more of this, but we're gonna do a different exercise. So let's sit back down if you're not sitting. And you'll grab the weights if you have them. I want you to bring the weights or the knuckles right in front of you. Plug your shoulders in, so draw them down. We're going to pull and push. We pull and push. Okay, so when you pull, I want the elbows in line with the shoulders. And I want you to think about pinching your back muscles together, okay? So you pinch a grape in between your shoulder blades, pull and push. So each movement counts, it's a pull, it's a push. You have four more, press your heels down into the mat, three or the floor, whatever it is, two, one, hold it here. You lift the hands up, you bring them down. You bring them up, you bring them down. Now, don't do this. You want to be nice and tall. Ears away from the shoulders. Let's go a little quicker. Ready? Down, up, down, up, down, up. How are your arms feeling? You have five, four, three, almost there, guys. Two, one. Hold it here. Up and up. Let's turn it into a circle. Okay, here we go. It's a circle. It's a circle. Work your chest. It's a circle. Small circle. Five. Four, we're gonna reverse it, sit taller. Three, two, reverse, here we go. Yes, reverse, make it small. You have five, four, three, two, one, relax. Good, did you guys feel your arms? Isn't it incredible how you can feel it without weights? So I'm gonna repeat part of the chest and shoulders and we're gonna move into a new exercise with same muscle groups, okay? So we're gonna start with that pull and push okay so do you guys know where your shoulder blades are you know where your shoulders are right and then your blades i want you to think about pinching them together when you pull okay so here we go we're gonna have a seat you sit super tall think of a nice tight corset around your waist hands up plug in your shoulders make the arms active here we go we pull and we push you have 10 of them here we go pull pinch a grape in between the shoulder blades and push keep it going this is nine Pull and push, guys. Make sure the knuckles are right in line with the shoulders. Pull and push. Everyone looks great. Yep. You want a wide row and push. Keep it going. The higher the arm, the harder. Everyone looks great. The lower the arm, the easier. Let's do five more together. We have five. Good, we have four. Make it active. Three. Keep breathing. Two. One. Hold the pull, lift the arms, lower the arms. Lift the arms, lower the arms. We're almost there, we have four. We have three in two, here's my favorite part. You go like this and you extend the arms. Plug your shoulders in, nice proud chest, but make sure your ribs are closed. From here, give me a thumbs up. We go up, we go up. We have 10 of these, okay? Thumbs up, thumbs up. Yup, we have eight, seven. Can you relax your shoulders, six? Five. In four, I want you to give me a thumbs down. Three, two, everybody give me a thumbs down. Boo, this hurts, right? Let's do 10. Thumbs down. Nine, eight, seven. Oh, I feel my arms. Do you? Six, five, four, three. Guess what? We're going to repeat. We're going to do five and five. Ready? Thumbs up. Here we go. Five, four. You can go lower if you need to. Three, two, give me a thumbs down. Boo, five. Four, three, now we're doing two and two. You can do it. Ready? Thumbs up. Two, thumbs down, two. Now give you one and one. Thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs up, thumbs down. Keep it going. Five and five, four and four, three, almost there. Two, one, and relax. Woo! Oh my goodness. <laughs> Did anyone drop the weight? I almost dropped the weight. So shake it up. So these are examples of exercises you can do at home. You know, while, even while you're watching TV, it's incredible. You'll feel your bicep, you'll feel your tricep, you feel your chest, you feel your shoulders. So let's stretch it out, okay? So the first stretch I'm gonna have you do is you're gonna take the left hand across the body. It's probably gonna look, at, look like my right hand on your screen. I like when my thumb points down. You're gonna take it across the body. You can stay seated. Press um, wrist into wrist and roll the shoulders back. 
So it doesn't matter if thumbs up or down, but I like when my thumb clicks down, you just get a nice little stretch. And then when you're ready, you're gonna take the hand behind you and you're gonna clasp them, okay? Let's take this hand all the way over here. You can stay kneeling, whatever you want, or seated. But I'm just gonna take my hand over here, okay? Give it a little pull. And then you're gonna take one ear to one side of your choice. And then the other ear to the other side. One more time each way, one ear. And the other ear. Good. Shake it out, we go to the other side. My left arm is gonna go across my body. My thumb is gonna point down as I push my wrist into the wrist. You get nice and long and you press. You roll that shoulder back, sit nice and tall. Keep breathing. And when you're ready, just like you did before, take your hands and interlace them behind you. This time, my knuckles are gonna go right here on my waist. Yep, okay, give it a little pull. Take one ear to one side. Take a deep breath, exhale and go to the other side. Very nice, one more on each side. Keep pulling the arm. And then the other. All right, so before we end our arms, let's work the back of our arms. The back of our arms are our triceps, okay? So I think I did a little bit of this last time. We're gonna continue. I'm gonna show you um, my chair like this, okay? And I'd like you to have a seat at the edge of your chair and kind of hinge forward. So make sure you're not hunched like this. It is a nice straight back. Make sure you pull your stomach away from your shirt and you have the weights or the soup cans or the water bottles, whatever you have, you're just gonna reach. Now, for some reason, guys, if your chair is in the way when you reach, you can just do the standing, okay? Whatever, wherever you are is perfect. I just um, got some feedback last time about too much standing, right? So if you wanna sit, you could sit, you could, it still works, okay? So when you're ready, we're gonna lift up. We lift up, we come down, we lift up, we come down. So either sitting or standing, the muscles I want you to work on are the back of your arms. It's a lift, it's a lower. We have about five more. While you're here, I'm going to cue you to get deeper. So think about pressing your pinkies towards the sky or into the dumbbells. Think about um, pulling your armpits to your pockets, okay? We have four. We have three. I have a dog right here. Two. One. You hold it up, you guys. And then I want you to try to clap your weights together. In and in. You got it. In and in. We're going to do eight more here. Eight. Get a little higher. Seven. Six. Five. Keep pulling the stomach in. Four. Three. Two. We're not done yet. Hold it here. Small bend and press. Small bend and press. Guys, make sure you're looking. Um, with a long neck, okay? So you're looking down and your neck is long. Bend and press. The more you press, the harder. You got it. We have five. We have four, three, get longer, two, one, and you rest. Okay, so triceps um, are smaller than the biceps, so it fires up a little quicker. We're just going to repeat it one more time, and then we're going to move into a standing exercise, okay? So I'll probably repeat one of those, and then I'll add a couple new ones. So when you're ready, you take those weights again, second set of 10, okay? So hinge forward, you're either seated or standing, wherever you are is perfect, okay? Here we go, pull the stomach in, it's a lift, it's a lower. The higher, the harder, it's not necessarily better, it's just harder. Lift and lower, keep going, you have eight more. Think about your armpits going into your pockets, you lift, you lower, you lift, you lower, exhale, lift. Good, you have three. Long neck, guys. Two, one, hold it up. Good, from here, you're gonna undulate the arms. Undulate means this, make it big, make it big. It's like you have a cotton tail and you're fluffing it. Fluff your cotton tail, fluff, fluff, fluff. Good, let's keep fluffing. Big tail, five, four, three, two, Fluff a little tail, 10, 10 little fluffs, nine, 
Eight, can you lift heart higher? Six, five, four, woo, three, two. We end like this. Get high, flip the palms and face the ceiling. We circle, here we go, circle. You got it. Eight, seven, six, get higher. Five, four, three, two. Maybe you take a break, maybe you finish with me. Here we go, reverse, 10. Nine, eight, seven, almost there. Six, five, four, three, two, relax. Woo! My goodness. So I hope you felt the back of your arms because I sure did. Let's stretch. And then we're going to move on to the second half of our exercise. You take one hand and you take it behind you. You bend the elbow right here, press your hand into your back and your head into your arm. Take this elbow and you go up and over, up and over. You got it, stretch. If it feels good, you can circle the body and we switch to the other side. Bend the elbow, press your fingertips into the back and Bring the elbow over, stretch. If it feels good, you circle once and we go to the other side, we repeat everything, okay? Here we go. Bring the hand behind you, you lift the body and you go up and over. Stretch, anchor through that hip and when you're ready, we circle it around and we switch. One more side, you lift and you go up and over and you relax. Okay, so we're at about 25 minutes. So I'm gonna do the second half um, standing. Okay, so when you're ready, if you need a drink of water, grab it. And I'll meet you at your chair. And I'm gonna put my chair this way so you guys can see me better. Okay, so why don't you take a minute or so, grab some water, and we can um, meet standing up. And if you need to adjust the camera, you can do so. So I also invite you guys to have enough room that you can kick back, okay? So go ahead and adjust yourself as needed. Okay. So when you're ready, you're gonna find yourself on your chair, okay? I don't know if you can still see me. Okay, and you're going to bring the feet in a V shape. So the heels will be together and the toes are apart. So your feet are like this, okay? So heels are together, toes are apart, and roll the shoulders back. We will bend our knees just a little. So let's bend our knees a little and then stand up. You bend your knees a little, and you stand up. So you guys are gonna keep going like this, and I'm gonna come around and check your form. So let me talk about it first. Your shoulders are over your hips. Your knees go towards your second and third toe. I'll say it again. Your shoulders are over your hips. Your knees are towards your second and third toe. So what I don't want to see is this. What I don't want to see is this. It's straight down and up. Okay, so keep it going. It's down, it's up. You're nice and tall. Everyone looks great. Good, down and up like you're at a ballet bar. We have three. Very good, you have two. You have one. You're gonna hold it down so your knees are slightly bent, right? Okay, from here, if your body allows, we go down an inch, we go up an inch. So you stay low, you down an inch and up an inch. Small, down an inch and up an inch. Everybody look at your knees. Keep going down an inch, up an inch. They should be going towards your second and third toe. If they're not, your knees will hurt tomorrow. So go towards your second and third toe. Here we go, down an inch and up an inch. Keep it going, you have four. We're working our thighs. Three, two, 
and one. Stand all the way up. Zip your thighs together. Good. We're going to do that again. We're going to go down. We come halfway up. We go down. We come halfway up. Give me five. Very nice. Four. Good. Three. Nice and tall. Two. Roll the shoulders back. One. You hold it here. Don't move anything else. The heels will lift. The heels will lower. The heels will lift. The heels will lower. And we hold on to our chair for stability. You lift and you lower. Now, the harder, the lower. The easier, the higher. You choose. We lift. We lower. Give me five more. Five. Yep. And so we're working our ankles, guys. This helps us catch our fall if we are in um, a slippery climate. It helps us articulate our foot. One more. Hold the heels high. We just hold. Five. The knees are slightly bent. Four. Three. Two. Stand up and rest. Shake it out. Good job, guys. So that was working your thighs. You can shake out your thighs, shake out your body. Everyone looks really good. We're going to do a, another series, but we're going to be wide with our feet, okay? So when you're ready, you can stand wide, okay? So I'm wide like this, pretend my chair is in front of me. And then from your hips, I want you to externally rotate, okay? So from the hips, you go out. Yep, and when you're ready, pretend my chair is in front of me. You'll bend the knees and you'll extend. Use your chair to help you. You bend the knees and extend. Good, so this wide stance is also working the inner thighs. You go down and then you zip up, like a you're zipping up a tight vest from your pubic bone to your chest. You got it, give me five more just like that. Everyone looks great, four more. So if you take your hands on your hips, it's gonna work your core more. Yeah, Sandra looks great. Three more, two more. Hold it down, guys, hold it down. All right, from here, I want you to reach one arm over and come back. Reach the other arm over and come back. Yep, so I'm doing this. It's a reach, come on down. It's a reach. So the whole time my knees are bent, so I'm working my inner thighs while you reach. Now, if that's too much on your inner thighs, you'll stand tall and just do this, okay? So if your knees are bent, it's gonna be harder on the thighs. Make sure your knees are towards your second and third toe. Keep it going. You have two more reaches on each side. Stretch and bring it in. You got it, stretch. Keep bending those knees if you can. One more time each side. You stretch and you reach. Yes, even stretch the armpit. Stretch the armpit. Come all the way up and stand nice and tall. Good job, shake it out. All right, my favorite muscle group is the glutes, okay? So we're gonna work our behind. But the reason I like doing that is because it also works your back muscles. We often forget to work our back. We only wanna work our front, right? So we're gonna work our back muscles and that includes our glutes, our bottom, our cheekiest part of the bottom, which helps us walk up and down the stairs and it helps us stay standing up. So if you need a, grab a quick drink of water, do so. And I'll meet you back at your chair. Make sure you have enough room to kick your leg behind you. Okay, so grab some water and I'll see you back at your chair. Everyone's doing great. So we did a little thigh and now we're gonna do some glutes, okay? So make sure your feet are parallel, like the number 11, number 11. Good. You're going to have a soft bend in the knees, very soft bend, okay? So don't lock your knees up, soft bend. And then you're just kind of leaning over. Sometimes I like to go like this, but you can just lean over, okay? I'm gonna go like this so you can see me better in the camera, but if I weren't doing this to show you, I would stand like this. Either one is fine. Okay, so you have a soft bend in your knees. Wherever you are, your heels and your hips are in one line. Make sure your heels and your hips are in one line. Soft bend in the knees. Take your left foot back. Take your left foot back. Okay, roll the shoulders back. We're gonna lift and we lower. We lift and we lower. Okay, watch this guys. A lot of you are doing this. 
that's gonna hurt your back, okay? You only wanna lift a little and lower. For example, you squeeze right here and that's what lifts the leg, okay? It's not a swing, it's a squeeze and down. It's a squeeze and down. Keep it going. We squeeze. You're nice and long, relax the shoulders. Yep, nice and small. We have four. We have three. Very good, ladies. We have two. One, hold it here. You're gonna go up an inch and down an inch. Small. You can point the toes if you want. Up an inch, down an inch. Nice and small. You have a soft bend in your right knee. You have four, three, keep it going. Two, one, hold it here. You're going to take this foot and give me a bend and extend. Bend and extend. Bend and extend. You got it. We have five more right here. So what you should start to feel is your right side, right? Is your right side starting to get sore, maybe? Yeah? That, that means you're doing it correctly. Three, two, pull your belly button in. One more, hold it here. One more time, pulse up an inch. Up an inch, small, very small. You got it, ladies, keep it going. You have five, four, three, two, you rest. Okay, so take a nice rest. If you were feeling your right side, you were doing it right. I'm gonna explain why your right side should feel more sore. Your right side should feel more sore because it's holding up your entire body. Even though the left side is working, it's moving up and down and pulsing and bending, the right side is supporting your whole body. So that's why it should be a little more sore. Okay, guess what? We're gonna repeat it. So one more time, you're gonna bend a little bit. And I'm just going to add a couple other variations, okay? You extend the left foot back and you square the hips. When you're ready, you lift and we lower. Nice and easy. Lift and lower. So, guys, if this is uncomfortable for you, you always have the option of coming to the floor and doing it and lifting and lowering, okay? Keep it going. You can do this at the kitchen counter, too. Let's do four more just like this. We have four. We have three. Two, one, look at yourself in your camera. Square the hips, up an inch, down an inch. Make sure you're not doing this. Your back's gonna hurt tomorrow if you do it. Small, pull your belly button up or your low back starts to hurt. You have four, three, two, hold it here. You're gonna take this left leg, cross it down to the right and lift up. Down to the right and lift up. Good, you have five, lift up. You have four, good job guys. You have three, two, one. Hold it up, take it down to the left. Take it up, just five times, down to the left. Take it up, my right side is really starting to feel sore. You have three more, two more. Pull the belly button in, one more. We rest. Woo! Okay, let's have a seat. We're gonna stretch. You're gonna have a seat. So that right side should be more sore, right? You're gonna cross the foot. Cross the foot over. So the right side is crossing. You grab your chair and you fold over and you should feel a nice stretch. Just breathe into it. You press that right knee down. You get a nice, nice stretch. Good. Another thing you can do is this. You can cross the leg and fold over. Take a couple breaths there and go back to that figure four. So right foot is still in figure four. You pull and you fold over. Good work, guys. Okay, before we go to the other side for your booty, we're gonna stay seated for a couple exercises, okay? So from here, we're going to take our hands onto the chair, and we're just gonna do a couple dips, okay? 
So you can either do it facing me or you can do it away. Whatever side is sturdy for your chair. I'm going to show you from the side first, but you're just going to bend and extend the elbows. Bend the elbows and extend. And I'm going to face you for it, okay? We bend the elbows and we extend. So it's just the elbows doing the work, okay? Let's do five. Very nice. Let's do four. Everyone looks great. Three. Great job, guys. Two. One. Hold it up. Lift your heels. Lower your heels. Lift your heels. Lower your heels. Give me four more. Everyone's doing awesome. Three, two, one. Have a seat and rest. Good. Shake it out. We're just going to do one more set before we go to the other side. Are we all doing okay? Do you need to wipe off your sweat or anything? I'm getting very warm. <laughs> okay. So when you're ready, one more set, okay? Take the hands on the chair. You walk up. And here we go. We bend and extend. Bend and extend. Why don't you guys give me just five? Good job. Four. Look straight ahead, guys, wherever you are. Three. Good. Two more. One more. Hold it up. Now lift the heels and lower the heels. Lift the heels and lower. Give me five. Four. Three. Pull your belly button in. Two. One. Come all the way down and rest. Okay, so one more set of the um, glutes, your bottom, and then um, we're, we'll stretch it out, okay? Because our time's almost up, and you guys are like, thank goodness. <laughs> All right, so when you're ready, I'm going to turn around so that you can see me on the other side. Make the number 11 with your feet. You bend the knees a little bit. I'm going to move up so you can see me better. And you can hinge like this or you can just bend a little bit, you choose. I'm going like this for the camera, and you're going to, here, I'm gonna move up a little more. Do a small little bend, and you strike your right foot back. A lot of people's hips will go like this. I want you to be square, square the hips, okay? So from here, we lift and we lower. Remember, it's a squeeze from here to lift the leg. It's not a swing, right? It's a small lift and lower. Maybe your lift is only here, and that's okay. It's a lift, it's a lower. Good guys. We have five, you have four. Can you guys relax your shoulders? Yeah, three. You can do this with the kitchen, you know that? Two, one, hold it here. Look at your left knee. Is it a little bit bent? It should be bent, a little bit. Okay, hold it here. We have 10 pulses up and up. Eight and seven, looking good guys. Six, pull the belly button in, five, four, three, two, one, hold it here, bend the knee, extend the knee, bend the knee, extend. Try not to clench your jaw, unclench your jaw, relax the space in between your eyes. You have four, so good ladies, three, good, two, your left booty should be on, one, hold it here. One more time, up an inch, up an inch. You have 10, nine, eight, almost there. Nice long leg. We are working the cheekiest, the biggest part of our bottom. Four, three, two, you rest. Good, shake it out. So we only have one more set, shake it out. So you should have felt your left side more than your right. I hope everyone did, yeah? because the left side is what's supporting you, okay? So last time, we're gonna do, do four different variations, okay? Here we go, you can do it. Soft bend in the knees, number 11. Hands down or hands here, okay? Take your right foot back, we repeat. It's a lift, it's a lower. Squeeze the cheek, you got it. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Stay with me. Four, five, four, four. So good. Three, pull your belly button in. Two, one, hold it here. Small little pulses up and up, up. Good. We have five more. And then our foot, keep going up. 
Relax your shoulders. Our foot is going to cross over to the left, okay? Three, two, touch down to the left. Touch it down. Lift it up. Touch it down. Lift it up. Good. So it's a little cross and lift. Good. Keep it going. Five, four. Your left side should be on fire. Three, two, one. Hold it up. Last part. Here we go. To the right. Lift it up. To the right. Lift it up. Keep it going. You can do it. Five and four, three, whew, two, one. Rest. Good job, guys. Very, very nice. Have a seat with me so we can stretch it out. You should have felt your left side, right? So left side, correct? I mean, not right. Okay, you're gonna come to a figure four, hands go underneath the chair, and then you're gonna round over and pull. Should feel really nice. Push that left knee down. You guys did it. That was a very, very active, uh, 45 minutes that we did on the chair. So many different things you can do. Who would have known, right? Come all the way up, you cross your legs and fold over. Come all the way up. And then one more time, figure four, push that left knee down, come up and over and stretch. You can pull on the chair. Come all the way up, and then we're just going to take a couple roll downs to end, okay? So have your um, back nice and tall, and you're going to inhale arms all the way up, and we'll fold over the chair and dive down. You let your head go. From here, I want you to start to press into the heels. Feel that energy travel up your legs, into your belly button, and then start to roll the spine up from the tail all the way up super super slow think about stacking your spine one vertebra at a time like a string of pearls your head is the last to arrive go super slow guys super super slow the head is the last to arrive make sure you roll the shoulders back sit very tall two more times like that inhale up Exhale, we dive forward. Press into the heels first. Look into your belly button and start to articulate the spine up. Start with the tail and then like a string of curls, stack one on top of the other, continuing to roll your shoulders one at a time. Your head is the last to arrive. Good. Last one, here we go, inhale up, exhale, everyone dive forward, let it go. Shake your head yes, and shake your head no at the bottom. And then when you're ready, press into your heels, put your tailbone down and stack all the way up nice and slow. Roll the shoulders back, lift your gaze, take one more cleansing breath, inhale up, Put your hands together, exhale them down to heart center. Press your hands together to light up your heart and to lift a little taller. And you take this length with you for the rest of your day. Great job, you guys, nice work. Thank you so much for joining me. For some of you, it's morning. For some of you, it's after lunch. But I so appreciate you guys inviting me and letting me spend an hour with you or 45 minutes rather <laughs> but great job so all of these exercises you know you can do on any sturdy surface so even if it's on the back of the couch you know my couch is up against a wall but if your couch is out and you can do it on um, the back of a couch you can do it at a kitchen counter you could do it at the kitchen sink but just make sure you work mind and body connection and you'll get the results you're looking for